couldn't resist what released. <laughs> um, I, I mean, there's three, four locations that start us in Chennai, goes to Bombay, and then comes to Hyderabad, Golconda. But the way it has been merged, and the way Rajini sir performed, this is the first scene of Vasha we shot. Actually, and there's a book outside, I don't know whether people saw it, it's all about what happened behind Annamalai Veera and Vasha. This sequence, when he, we had done the first half, and we were doing the first scene of Basha was this underground sequence. So it was very difficult for us to, we had already, the first time when we shot, we had already imagined that the audience are going to see something big in uh, Basha. The expectations are high. How do we do it? How do we create that character's audience? We have, you know, really lifted our uh, image. So that way he dressed up, the way he wore the coat, the muffler, the cooling glass without a side frame, the way he walked, the way he done the whole day that from the time the costume was set, the Kolkonda scene, how that skidding in that uh, wheelchair of chair, how we did it, the whole thing I, I chronicled in the book. It's very exciting to know how Rajini sir goes behind the makeup of a character, how he emotes, how he performs. So all that I have worked with him, all that I've known about him, all that amazing moments I had with him, how that Basha's uh, each and every song, how that background music came, how that auto current song came, everything has been put in that book, which is very interesting because I thought everywhere I go, people keep asking me about Basha, how did that dialogue come, how did that uh, song come, and I thought, let's we put it in a book, and uh, it's available in Tamil and Telugu and English. If you have to see it, read it, and you will enjoy it. Because if you're seeing Basha, you will enjoy that. Uh, so it, I just would like to finish this small I thought uh, instead of me talking, this is more exciting for us to watch and uh, inspire pe the people who have inspired me, the people who have traveled with me. So, you will all go through in your lives, different phases in your life. I just, you know, to meet, talk about Rahman or talk about Rajini Khan, suddenly you meet him and you work and happen to opportunity to travel with him, just imagine the kind of joy that will give you. To meet a Kamal Hassan, a keeper, a Raja, and you're traveling in train with them. Just imagine the joy you will get in them. Every moment I have lived with them, I work with them, I have traveled with them, I have had immense joy in that. And I am thankful whatever I have achieved, what little I have achieved, is purely the inspiration for many people. Some brilliant technicians I work with, some lovely scripty, script writers, dialogue writers, good producers. So it is not a one man, journey. The journey has been team. My team has always been with me, traveled with me, and today whatever I am, I thank each and every member of my team who have made me big, and the God blessings of God. And I will give you one small quote, which will always help you in your life, which has helped me. How will, there will be always in your life ups and downs. You will find that. Sometimes you will reach a top in your life, and then you'll come down also. How to accept it? You'll be worried how to accept those challenges when suddenly you're on top of your career or top of your work and profession, and suddenly one fine day you will be sliding down. It has to happen, isn't it? Nobody can stay at the top all the time. So that is a beautiful example, a story of a, some a spiritual master said, when you want to go up the, look at the mountain here. He goes up the mountain every time he is excited to go to the Mount Everest, you will see that very problems come to him. There is avalanche, and then there is some rain, there is some snow, these skids and falls down, there is a lack of oxygen. But finally he reaches the top. And when he reaches the top and hoists his flag, he knows he has achieved it. He has gone, gone to the highest level. And then, then he has to come down. But when he comes down, he is happy that he achieved it. He goes through, he sees that avalanche, hey, I just got I. I was there in the heaven and he smiles at it. Hey, I crossed this, I crossed this. He comes down, but he's not afraid, he's not worried, he's not feeling sad about it. He's happy that he achieved and has come down. And he takes a small rest and he goes back to the next Mount Everest or bigger challenges. So you have plenty of challenges in life. You have plenty of... Go ahead, fight. Life is full of challenges, exciting. Go ahead, fight it. Godless. Thank you.
that is indeed quite a visual treat. And I, and I think I'm stating the obvious here when I say that it is thoroughly enjoyed by each and every one of us. Now we'll resume into question and answer session. Uh, one second.